Okay, so in this video, we will calculate the first prime numbers uh, up until to a certain n. Uh, in this case, the maximum n that we will be using is 10 to the power of 9. Uh, and we will do this using the fast sieve method, which almost runs in uh, linear time. Uh, there, are may there are maybe other methods that run faster than the fast sieve method, but uh, the fast sieve method is very straightforward, very simple, and in general, it will run and you will achieve uh, what you want to achieve in like uh, coding interviews or uh, competitive programming competitions, okay? So let's go ahead and see what I, I have already typed for, uh, in my file. So I have this line here to include all the libraries that we will be using in this implementation. Uh, these two define statements, pretty straightforward. And the using namespace STD is a standard thing you will be using in C++, okay? So uh, to store my primes, I have the vector uh, of integers, primes, that's the name I give. Uh, and I also have a Boolean array to help me, which I call uh, is not prime. So initially when you declare an array in the global scope, uh, all the bits of that array will be set to be zero. So initially all the, for all the indexes here, uh, the bit is set to be zero. So every number has is not prime to be equal to zero. So we consider all the numbers from uh, zero to n to be primes in the beginning of it. Okay, okay. So this is the function that we will be calling. We call it sieve. Uh, it, it takes a parameter n up until n, we will be calculating the prime numbers. Uh, we initialize by clearing the primes vector, and we set for number one and number zero, uh, to be the index to be, they are uh, places to be equal to one. So both zero and one are not considered to be prime numbers. So we set these to one, okay? Where we will be using a clock, a simple clock, to count the implementation time, uh, sorry, how much time our program will run for each uh, implementation of uh, the calculation of the prime numbers. Uh, here we output the time, and here we output how many primes we found up until n. Uh, the n that we will be using will be powers of 10. Okay, so I call from the main function, I call the uh, the C function, and I call it for all the powers of 10. So from 10 to the power of one, up until 10 to the power of nine, okay? I already know how many primes I should be getting as a result. You can do all this and find the, uh, and find the list uh, online to check your implementation. So uh, let's go ahead and implement the first, uh, the most naive method, okay? So the most naive method to do this is to iterate from i equals to two, uh, up until n, okay, you need to check n as well. So up until n, you check one by one your numbers, and you need to make sure that all the numbers that are smaller than i and uh, are greater or equal to two, uh, you need to check that all these numbers do not divide uh, number i. So if i modulo j equals to zero, that means that j divides uh, i perfectly, then you say that uh, it's not prime for i equals to one. Okay, so uh, i is not going to be a prime anymore, okay? Uh, you can also break here, use a break here, break statement, so once you, found, you find out that uh, i is not a, a prime, just break the inner loop because you don't need to check any other number, you already know that it is a prime, so you said uh, that if it's not prime uh, for a number i, so if it is not a prime, it, so it is set to zero, then you go ahead and push it in the primes uh, vector, okay? Okay, so we push back i to the vector primes. So this is it, this is the naive uh, solution. So let's go ahead and mark this down. So the most naive way. So let's just uh, build this and uh, check the results. Okay, so this is the result that we should get. So we just call the function. Uh, as you can see, after 10 to the fourth, it takes uh, way more time to calculate uh, the next primes, okay? So let's just, sorry, just put this here. So 
So let's go up. So uh, it did it, it, it indeed calculated for 10 to the power of 5 again. So it took about 6 seconds to do this, okay? So let's just go ahead and terminate this. So as you can see, this method is uh, very slow. It's a very slow method. So now we'll use the sieve method. Uh, so let's just go ahead and comment this out. So let's first, first of all see how the sieve over the sentence works. And then we go ahead and try to implement it. So first of all, you, you mark out 1 because it's not, it's not a prime. And for every other number that you find that is not marked, that is not marked, you mark it to be um, a prime. So two is a prime, and you jump that many times to the right and mark all the numbers in the list uh, to be not primes because they are divided by that number. So you jump two, so you go to four. Okay, so four is not a prime. You keep doing this, and you have eventually deleted all of the numbers that are divided by two. So they are not primes, okay? So you move to the next number, which is three. So three is a prime, since it's not marked. So three plus three is six. Six plus three is nine. So you mark out nine. Nine plus three is 12. 12 plus three is 15. 15 plus three is 18. 18 plus three is out of, of, is out of bounds from what we are looking for, okay? So five is a prime. Five plus five is 10. 10 plus 10 is 15, it's already marked. 15 plus uh, 5 is 20, so you have already marked for them as well. So 7 plus 7 is 14, and it's already marked. So for all the next numbers, uh, you will be get you will be going out of bounds. You will be going uh, above 20, so you don't need to check uh, the numbers. Okay. So this is how the sieve uh, of the sentence works. So how can we implement this in C++ faster? Okay. So again, you will go from uh, 2 until n you will increase by 1 each time okay and if is not prime of i equals to 0 that means that the, that the number is a prime then we go ahead and we say primes dot pushback i okay and we will erase all the numbers that are divided by that i. So uh, the next occurrence of, of a number that is divided by i will be 2 times i, okay? And then you say j smaller or equal to n, and you say j plus, sorry, j plus equal uh, i, because you want the numbers to be divided by i, so you increase by i each time, okay? So for these numbers that we will find, we will going to say that is not prime of j, equals to uh, 1. So it is it is not a prime. So you erase all the numbers that you that are not primes. So this this is uh, a faster implementation than the naive implementation. We can make this better, but let's see the times that the uh, this level 1 C, we can call it, uh, will give us, okay? So let's build this. So to remind you, it needed about 5 seconds to get the 10 to the 8th. Uh, with the naive implementation. So let's just run this. As you can see, it is way faster than uh, the n square implement, uh, naive implementation that we used before. So you get way better numbers. So can we make this uh, even better? So let's go ahead and terminate. Okay, terminate, yeah. So let's go ahead and terminate and try to make this see uh, better, okay? So let's just uh, copy a code as it is. Let's just comment this out. This is the level one sieve. So let's make a level three sieve. Sorry, a level two sieve. We can call it. So uh, the first improvement that you can do is a minor one. You can begin from three. You can set, uh, you can already push uh, back in your primes vector, number two. And instead of going one by one the numbers, you can increase by two each time, okay? So you know that for sure, these numbers will not be uh, divided by two. So you don't need, not even need to check them. So uh, you do the same thing that you did before. Okay, so let's build this. Okay, let's run this now. So as you can see, you get a minor improvement in your running time. Okay, uh, the results are here. You can check them afterwards. If you want, you can pause the video and uh, pause it in all the times, like the times that you have this in front of you. 
and uh, check the numbers that the numbers are correct. Uh, I tell you, I tell you the numbers are correct. Okay, so uh, these are the times without a minor improvement. So let's see if we can improve this even further. So we copy the code as it is. Okay, let's call this uh, level three. See if let's comment this out. So the improvement that we will be doing is in the inner loop. In the inner loop. So that improvement is uh, instead of going from two times i and checking all the numbers, you know that all the primes up until i have already deleted all the numbers that are divided by them. So instead of starting from two times i, you can start from i times i. Okay. So this is the other improvement that you you can do in your sieve. Okay, let's build this and let's see what times we will get. So the times you will get is, you see, you have minor improvement uh, from the previous times. Uh, you can let this run up until 10 to the 9th. Let's, ready. let's uh, let it uh, run. So it's going to take about uh, 20 seconds. I don't know if uh, the fact that I'm uh, recording will make this take even more time. Uh, I think it will. We can let this run and talk through it. So that's pretty much it that's the best uh, way to do this i'm gonna leave this code uh in a paste bin link in the description you can take this code and use it uh for yourself like you can see it, it took 32 seconds uh and i was recording uh while it was uh, calculating calculating the the numbers okay so maybe maybe i'm not gonna leave it in the paste bin Link. I'm gonna leave it in a GitHub link maybe. I'm gonna make a GitHub for the channel. So if you like this video, if it helped you guys, uh, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in whatever I will be making next. Goodbye.